plastering is all done. Uh, I did about three, maybe four coats, roughly. I'm not an expert at this, so it's not the best job, but probably looks okay on camera, right? And this is just a crawl space, so I wasn't being too fussy about it. But pretty happy with the way it ended up. I uh, just did the final sanding coat a while back, and it's now ready for primer. And don't mind the crazy hair, it's been like crazy hot here lately, and that tends to make the hair go a little wild. And yeah, it's getting pretty long. It's been a little bit over two years now since I've been growing this. My hair doesn't grow the fastest these days. Getting old, but at least I still have my hair. So, got that going for me. I'm actually pretty happy with the way the corners ended up. That's the part I was kind of worried about just because they were tricky to do. Like the drywall itself was tricky to do because it's very hard to get your drill in there to actually put in the screws. So like most of these corners only have like a couple screws at like a weird angle because you only have like about maybe half an, half an inch of 2x4 to play with, if that. The next time I frame a wall, I'm going to make sure that I kind of flip the 2x4s in the corners. This is giving you more surface area. But you can kind of see, like, well, ideally you can't actually see any seams or anything. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it ended up. Here it was much trickier with the pipes, because I couldn't really get my tool in between to smooth it up probably. So since this is just a crawl space, I'm not going to be fussy with this. Basically what I would probably do if I really want to complete this nicer is I would probably build like a little, I would probably build a kind of like a, some kind of border to go around it or something. And then that pipe, what's well, a little short, I would be happier if there was some of that pipe sticking out. Because when I insert like the next pipe into it, I won't be able to screw it in. So that's kind of too bad, but it's not a big deal. And this area here was kind of tricky to do just because of so many obstructions. So like when I was doing the skim coat with the bigger blade, it was just hard to maneuver it. And you can see over there and over there and kind of through there too. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the job. It looks fine from the street. So yeah, so let's get started with the primer. Nothing like the smell of primer. Who actually, that's kind of potent. It's actually the paint that smells good, the primer not so much. It smells more like cat pee.
primer, two coats of paint, drywall's all done. Uh, it's pretty much ready for me to put the plates on the plugs. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I could technically use like a netter coat. Like I'm seeing some spots that probably don't show up on camera, but I'm seeing some spots that you know, could use on touch up. But honestly, for crawl space, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Even though with those pipes turned out, it's actually not bad. I mean, I can scrape some of that stuff off if I really wanted to, but I mean, I will have to if I want to connect anything to it. That top one is a little short. Hopefully when I put the coupling on there, I'll be okay. But yeah, other than that, I mean, th this was probably the most challenging area. And like, yeah, like I'm really happy. I mean, you can, I can't really see any of the seams like where I taped. Like I could see them a little bit, but honestly, like I've seen professional jobs where you can kind of tell where the seams are. So I mean, even the pros are not 100% perfect. I mean, some of the lines you're seeing are also like shadows and stuff. So that's, it's kind of deceiving. Like there's like, like horizontal lines there. That's a shadow. So yeah, like, I mean, I'm looking at it and the imperfections I see are basically the same kind of imperfections you would see like on a normal wall. I mean, no wall is perfect. So yeah, I'm really happy with this, especially for like a do-yourself job. Like the corners ended up really well. Like, I mean, this was probably my first time taping. Like, I mean, I've done small pass jobs before. Well, I did the fireplace as well last year. It's not my first time, but it was like, it was my first time doing a wall from scratch, basically. Like, I mean, literally behind there, it was just like cinder block. So I went from having cinder block to framing it and then insulating, vapor baggering, and basically did everything. But yeah, so this is pretty much it for this video and for this project. The next part of this will be to build shelving, but I'm gonna wait till I'm done my shop. So you're probably gonna see videos of me building my deck next. And at some point I'm gonna epoxy the floor in my shop slash garage. I mean, it's a garage, but it's basically gonna be like a shop. And then once that's epoxied, I can actually start working on the shop. But before I even do the shop, I think I'll do the shelves for down here. I just need a place to build it because right now I don't really have a place. And I really don't like using power tools down here because of the servers. Like all the dust gets in. Speaking of dust, it's looking kind of bad. I don't know how well that shows on camera. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I mean, I kind of, I was kind of bold here, but I just drywalled like with all this exposed. I mean, I probably should have covered it or something, but I was kind of lazy. So yeah, this dust is really bad. But that's another project I want to do at some point. I want to finish the inside of the server room, like enclose it. And then I want to do like a HVAC system where it just like exchanges air from either the crawl space or even the garage or outside. And basically it will use different temperature readings to decide what's the smartest way of doing it. So like in the winter, I'm gonna to wanna to use the garage air because I wanna to try to heat the garage at the same time. So like, I'm gonna draw the temperature of this room. If it gets too cold, then the furnace will kind of warm it up. And then this will kind of indirectly heat the garage without me having to install a heater in there. So it's kind of a, I'm kind of gonna to try to use the most efficient way of transferring the energy basically. And in summer, well, it's probably gonna use the outside air most of the time or the crawl space because when I'm using the central air, the crawl space will be cold. So basically the system will be automated and just take air from wherever is the most efficient and then exhaust it wherever it's most efficient. But yeah, anyway, this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. And please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you like this content, it really helps the channel. And Thanks for watching and bye.